Hey guys, it's Helen and Kathy coming to you from the Heart of the Witches Path YouTube channel. Today we're coming at you with another top 10 list. And as you can see, we're doing it a little bit differently. Yes, I'm actually holding the camera because we'll be doing some movement. And we thought what we would do is today's list that we're sharing with you is what, Kathy? It is the top 10 altar tools, Helen. Yes. And so we thought that what we would do is share with you all the altar tools that we use in our coven, coven um, the Mystics of Realore, and so um, we're going to set up the altar that stands here at the coven stead. And I get to play Vanna White. Yay! And a lovely Vanna you are. So here we have the blank canvas, as it were, for our altar. We've got a pretty altar cloth made by Miss Kathy herself. Yay! Um, so Kathy... Hey! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Magnus, Go you away. stay down. Go away. Oh, that was a good shot of Magnus. All right, so Kathy, the first altar tool that we want to share with everybody is the incense holder. Um, of course, incense holders come in a lot of shapes and sizes. There's a lots of different incense varieties. This, of course, is a stick incense holder. Um, they are also um, available in cones, which you could probably put a cone in the bottom there if you wanted to. Um, there's also the charcoal uh, that you can burn incense on. And Which you would put a um, charcoal brick in there. Uh, they make them specifically for loose charcoal or loose incense mm -hmm. that has a well in them. Mm -hmm. And you would drop your loose incense in through the top. Right. And of course, incense is a an air representation and that's why it's on the altar. Yep. Um, the next would be the chalice. And we do the chalice just a little bit differently. For a couple of reasons, um, we don't, a lot of our members do not drink alcohol, and several of our members are, um, have compromised immune systems. Right. So sharing is not a good idea. So we don't do a traditional cake and ale for our rituals, but we do use a chalice as part of our um, building the circle. So this is what we use for a chalice. And of course, this is also something that we picked up from the dollar store. So right. again, chalices, all shapes and sizes. And pentacle. <laughs> the pentacle is our next item. Um, oh, I should say that the cup or chalice is a water representation. So here we have the chalice or the the pentacle, the pentacle that is an earth representation. This is something that um, was purchased um, from a local vendor, right. and so this is a resin um, and hand painted uh, pentacle. Man, I've got chalice on right. the brain now. Sorry, this pentacle. This is also very versatile in that you could put a tea light in here or cone incense and there is a hole for stick incense. Yes. So that's, that's come in handy multiple times. Yes. So there's the pentacle. And, and then is he represent one of the representations of spirit? Yes. And earth, right? Yes. Yes. So the cauldron is next. And of course, Again, all shapes and sizes. This is a small one that we keep on the altar. And if you look in the background there, you'll see a large cauldron that was gifted to the coven from one of our lovely friends. And hopefully member one day, we'll see. Um, so we love that. Um, and so uh, chalice or cauldron, cauldron is um, another uh, another water yes. um, possibility. Um, Athame is <laughs> so totally on order. Athame is the next item and Athame um some folks view it as air, some folks view it as fire depending. So um this is our coven alt uh, coven Athame. Again, this is another gift and this happens to be a singing Athame, very beautiful, very good for directing energies when we are creating circle. Um, wand is next. <laughs> so wands, lots of different wands are available. This happens to be one that we use for our in bulk ritual. This is a priapic wand. And what is, what do we use that for? Um, we use it to represent the God and the God and goddess joining for in bulk. Yes. Um, this is just a, a piece of wood. A dowel. A dowel that my husband drilled holes in the end, and I beaded a string and wrapped that around there. And didn't we paint it? We, we painted it, yes. Yeah. 
There are all kinds of wands. This we made probably our first year mm -hmm. practicing together. Yes, that's been around for quite some time. Yes. Next on our list is the bell. And the bell is a spirit item. And we use this when we call spirit. Um, and again, this is another gift to the coven um, from Crystal, actually, when she joined us. Beautiful. And there are several kinds of bells, but this mm -hmm. is the one we use as a coven. Correct. And look, there's pretty Nala in the background. Hey, Nala. <laughs> um, candles are the next tool that we wanted to talk about. And here we have um, a red candle that we use as a representation for fire on the altar. And so that, is, that will go on the altar and it'll be lit and it'll stay lit until the um, the whole ritual is completed and then it's it's put out. And this is a really good example of upcycling because this jar was originally purchased with a made candle in it. Right. And we went through the made candle and now we have a new candle that's going in to use for the fire representation. So, see, we're building a really pretty altar. I'm going to move this down here, actually. Just oh, to give us room. Oh, sure. Thank you. Um, next we have um, God and Goddess candles. And these, this would be our, of course, our God representation. A beautiful. Yes, this has uh, the Holly King and the uh, Oak King. I'm not sure which one. Is the Horn. Horn God and the Oak King, mm -hmm. Holly King. Mm -hmm. it's showing the two different faces of the God. The base has a pentacle he's standing on. Mm -hmm. oh, you can see that. This is well used, you can tell, by the candle dripping. Right. <laughs> it happens. Yep. Folks, your stuff doesn't have to be pristine. It's no, okay. It <laughs> so there's the god. And then we have the goddess candle with the three faces. This is the maiden. Mm -hmm. And the mother. Yep. See, she's pregnant. Mm -hmm. And the crone. Yes. Again, there's a pentacle on the base. And um, again, beautiful lots, lots details. Very, very good details. Beautiful, beautiful details on these. And then we have our God and Goddess representations that actually go with these candle holders. So here we have the God. Now, these are from a company called Dryad Designs, and Philip Borda is the artist. Um, we have given them lots of money. Lots of money. Uh, <laughs> I would like to pick up the, the pentacle that matches this, but mm -hmm. I just haven't had a chance to. Right. And so that's the god representation. Lots of beautiful detail. And the goddess goes along with it. She's, this, she's seated again. See the beautiful moon? Detailing the on the top imagery, mm -hmm. the offering, offering bowl, um, the rabbit Cute bunny. for some of the uh, sabbats. And Kathy was saying that that back piece right there, you can purchase that as like a wall hanging. Yes, I've seen it for both the goddess and the god. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Again, Dryad Designs. Mm -hmm. And you can find them online. Um, we've had these for a number of years, and so I'm not sure of their availability still. I think um, they're, they tend toward the wood finish now, but I'm sure that I've seen them on, either on Amazon or on eBay in the stone finish. Yes, because this is a stone finish, and then there's like a brown textured right. one that looks like that looks like wood. It's all still resin, but it right. looks like wood. Mm -hmm. And then the final thing would be salt. Now, this is a salt cellar that I picked up at an antique store. It holds, you know, just enough salt for us to sprinkle into the water before we do our circle cast. And there you have it. Kathy's going to make a slight adjustment. Because I'm a Virgo <laughs> and it annoys me. So me well, on no, we just, we, um, we had, we put it on that side just so she wouldn't knock it over for the rest of the video. So there we have it. There is the top 10 altar tools. And this is what the Mystics of Rhea Lure altar looks like. So um, that's going to be it for this video. So thanks for hanging out with us. If you want to share anything about your altar. Um, we've got some other um, tool videos that we're we going to be coming up with. So, but